Okay, well, this one is uh, Nikki Heat. Mm. Good one, man. So, uh, do you want me to do it, or do you want to jump into it? Um, well, first off, how many times have you read this? I've read it mm, maybe three times. Wow. This is my third third time going. Yeah. Um, I'm, I didn't even finish it. Didn't finish it this time around. Okay. I'm maybe two hundred, three hundred pages in. I'm just taking it as I go because I pretty much know the whole thing. Yeah. Um, I read it first, maybe like four years ago. Yep. And then I got into the series, and uh, I think I, I just started reading again this time around because I just wanted to get to some of the other books, like maybe book two and book three, because like yeah, lo- lots of different stuff happens in them. Right. Lots of cool stuff. But um, I really enjoyed this one as well. This was one of my favorite series and one of my favorite sort of detective things. So. All right. Yeah. Do you know? Yep. Um, I liked it. Yeah. Um, it's like a a good detective story. Um, it's nice having like a, a female lead. Yeah, I did enjoy that. Um, but uh, I had some problems with it, so I gave it a six out of ten. Okay, like it, it was cool. it was enjoyable. But I can't help compare it to the other detective stories I've read. Yeah, definitely. Um, and basically, like, I think I was, like, halfway through it, and I kind of called who the killer was, and I was right. I was like... Uh, yeah, that sort of happened to me as well. Because they do, like, whenever there's a, a murder mystery, I've found is either the killer is someone that they know the the detective yep. or you have it from the point of view of the killer if yep. they're un- unknown and as soon as she started getting friendly with that accountant dude i was like he's the fucking killer yeah <laughs> i was like i bet it's that guy because it'll make it more impactful like it makes sense yeah yeah i got that same thing the same vibe um but like i i enjoyed this yeah but um I'm reading so many books where, like, I can't keep giving them, like, oh, it's fucking great, 8 out of 10, 9 out yeah, of 10. Yeah, no, for I sure. I probably would have rated it higher if I hadn't read any other detective stories. Fair enough, yeah. Um, and I might sound a bit negative, but I did like this. Yeah. Um, I, The dialogue seemed a little bit weird sometimes. Like, it seemed unrealistic. Um, but kind of like everything else was good. Yeah, good, not great, but like good is good. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll probably give it like a so like oh, seven point five or something. Like maybe like an eight. Yeah. Seven point five. I'll give it that. Yep. I give it that because um I really enjoyed it. Um I like to see all the different sides of like the the cop thing. Like I yeah I've I've read a few um detective novels in the past and everything as well. Mm. Um and you see like the different angles from things. Like obviously it is a female cop, mm. but you also see the interaction with all the different units. Like she borrows cops from uh robbery or something to help out in one of the in the, yeah. in the case. And then you also see her interacting with other, like, uniform cops and how there's a hierarchy there and how there's, like, different um, areas in New York that, like, yeah. have different station houses and everything else. And yeah. I thought all well, that sort of stuff was interesting because you don't sort of see that in the other ones. It's just like, oh, uh, I'm after this murderer. It all just seems like the entire world only encompasses the murderer and the and the det- detective yeah it, sound, it felt like there was a bigger larger Other world shit going on. yeah stuff was going yeah. on and um i thought this interaction with those other cops were quite cool like she got to get through traffic easier because she saw a uniform cop and mm. the uniform cop knew that her car was an unmarked detective yeah car. that's right yeah, yeah so she went through and there's little interactions like that where she'd like give the cup bottle of water and the cup would be like oh yeah cheers mate and that's then right yeah, yeah there's interesting things where there's humor the cop's gallows humor comes out a lot where that stuff happened all through world war Two, and then a lot of like world war Two vets come back and become police officers right. so like you've got like 
oh uh, yeah so and so was an idiot he got his head shot off and stuff yeah. like that you got like these gallows here yeah it's so, like right after she, she, she was attacked they were like cracking jokes and shit yeah they're cracking jokes about it, yeah so yeah. i think that that's an uh, interesting thing I, th- I did think it was um that her that even though she was like trying to portray herself as this hard-ass female mm. there was also like the i am a female and someone's tried to rape me yeah and i think that that was quite cool there's also, definitely good fears and doubts from her point of view. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also like that um, you just had random stuff into the story, mm. like the whole Russian thing. I think we all knew that that had nothing to do with the actual matter. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, it was a massive red hearing. No one yeah. even gave a shit. But I thought it was, like, quite cool that other stuff was actually happening in this world. So yeah. mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. And I thought that the digging into the mums, like, murder... Because mm. he, he does, yeah, yeah, and then also like stuff where like she goes on the, oh, kind of like a, a date with um, with Rook the mm. thing, and then they go and play poker with like the judges oh, and the announcer yeah, in New York like because he's star, yeah he's well connected to all these different people yeah, and she uses his connections to better her yeah. own job yeah she's like, like uh, the judge because uh, she beat the judge in poker he's like I want to rematch. When she got the thing signed or whatever. Yeah. So I think that those like things are interesting because I know that I think it's James Patterson that does a that Alex Cross. He does think similar things like oh, that. Okay. okay. Where like yeah. um, the DA has to work with a detective to also work with uh, some lawyer who's representing someone to try and create a RICO case or something. Right. So I think I think from that standpoint, I really enjoyed it. I like seeing like all these different things and mm. the murder was solved in a different way as well everyone chucked things on a board yeah and it also went through the things of like oh uh, this guy's the guy who just watches the the footage and he has to oh, watch it for yeah, three days like or something but he's like good at it yeah he's like, really good at it but um he hates doing it he's a pat on the head and then yeah. he's like oh okay fine <laughs> but um those are all things that you don't see in a lot of other yeah, like murder mystery things. So I feel like sometimes it either goes into deeply into the psychological, mm. or deeply into the forensic. Mm. And even though there were little bits and pieces of the forensic stuff, I enjoyed that it was all human. Yeah, everything was human. Yeah, I, I got that some of the some of the um, dialogue and stuff was a little bit unrealistic, mm. but. I don't know, I just enjoyed it, and I think yeah. it was good. I thought it was a good one. Um, it wasn't probably wasn't dark enough for you, I think, as well. <laughs> well, I mean, the um, the third of rape was pretty dark, actually. Yeah. But, um, um, yeah. Um, I didn't expect her and Rook to, like, actually hook up. I thought there'd be some kind of tension, but, like, maybe it would be in a, a book or two. Yeah. But then she's, like... Fucking sucks his dick and shit. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I, th- I thought that Good stuff was cool as well. Like, because this is probably a, one of the other. F- I, th- I thought it was good that the sex scenes were in there, like, because yeah. it was showing away from nothing really. Yeah, nothing was yeah. like yeah. not in in there. Yeah. Um, what else? I thought. Oh, the, yeah. The other thing was like, after the first book, like he's done he's finished like his because he's just a um a journalist right he's just writing a piece on him that's gonna be my question so is he like in all of these like that or is it he's in a few of them but and and, like he's in he is like the sidekick but Mm. they do a interesting enough job to make him like keep being in it yeah like uh but they don't overdo it with him no they don't overdo it with him no do they do you feel like he was like just in the way um no no I think he he played like a part and yeah he's a good secondary character yeah no I thought it was good yeah Yeah, so um now in my review I wrote I was like I'm not sure if I'll continue it but I think I will I just maybe not straight away but I think I will yeah okay um I think that like when you if you read this just even the first part of the second book I don't know if you read the I never read the sample chapters. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Then I'll be like, "Fuck, I want to read this now," and I've run out. Yeah. Um, they do an interesting enough job of like, bringing him in it, 
and you're like what the fuck's this guy doing in this story and it doesn't make sense from being it right and then you're like oh holy shit okay mm. so then it, that really brings you into it um yeah fucking being maybe like four or five books into it or six oh, okay. books yeah maybe um it's quite ten or so I mean, yeah I think so, yeah. something like that. Yeah, I think I'm like four and four or five into it. I, don't know, I can't remember, but um, or maybe I might be six into it. Yeah, the overarching thing is the overarching murder thing because yeah. it's like each each book is an individual murder, and the overarching thing is her mother's her thing. mother's kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, that's like cool. that is a, becoming a little bit far fetched for me. I was like, what? Okay, but the individual murder is great, absolutely yeah. great. Yeah. Mm, actually, um, oh, I don't want to say too much, but um, the Harry Bosch books. Yeah. It's actually somewhat similar, where, in terms of like some details, where um, his mother was murdered at a young age, and then and and then it's like kind of always in the back of his head, and it comes up maybe once or twice in the first few books. And then there's a book him actually trying to solve it. Yeah, that's, really cool. that's cool. That's really cool. It's like a forty year old murder. And it's like, yeah. I think that um, that so like the the two de- like detectives that work with her, um, they do really become blend into one character sometimes as well. Like you sort of forget that they're two characters. Oh, is that the one where she like name gives them a merged name as well? Yeah, um, Roach or whatever. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and then like the car's <laughs> called the Roach Coach. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I thought that I thought all those like little th- side things are cool. Actually, I I did like a lot of the side characters, and maybe the whole sort of blending them is intentional. Like, yeah, you, know, you can't kind of. I, don't know. I think that I think that definitely was part of it. Like, hmm. um, what do you think of Lauren Perry or whatever? Lauren Perry. She's the oh the crime scene investigator. Yes, um, the morgue person. Morgue person. Yeah, yeah. I thought their relationship was really cool. Yeah. Um, she like eats her lunch around the dead bodies and stuff, doesn't she? Isn't that in the first one? Can't remember. Um. Yeah, no, it was good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed the book. It was like just run of the mill like kind of thing, but. I liked that it was like different from your traditional. There's a guy who there's a woman that we found on the beach is dead. Yeah. Like this is a high profile guy who got thrown off of a, yeah. a tower, mm-hmm. and I liked all the like interesting side characters as well. Like, even though you probably did pick out oh shit, you know, the, it was the fucking accountant who did it. Well, t- to be fair, I thought it was the accountant and the wife. Yeah, because they seemed quite charming together. Well, it was the account it's because they, she hated him, right? Yeah. Like, and he was like kind of indifferent towards her. I thought that was an act, and I thought they were working together. Yeah, but it was all, it was all him. I also liked the other little side characters that like um, was it Jimmy the Rat or something like that? Oh yeah, yeah. The, he used to be fat. He used to be fat, yeah. fat, fat Tony. That's what it was. And uh, it's like in the running the construction <laughs> thing or something. Yeah. Yeah, you find out little like interesting details. Roach, about uh, not Roach, uh, Rook, to, Rook. Um, uh, uh, expose on yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just good. Yeah, there's lots of like weird stuff about you find out about New York, and I I thought it was like good, kind of interesting that like, and that one he that he pulls out his iPhone and uses a lighter torch on it there. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like that and like yeah, lights. Oh, okay. yeah. Um. Just dumb things like that, I think, are great in books. Like, mm. b- because I d- obviously they f- probably date a bit, mm. like ten years on, but those things are things that actually happen. Like, oh, we don't have any, you can't see anything, so get your phone out so we can like yeah. actually see things. Yeah. This like when was this written? Like early twenty tens, like two thousand twelve yeah, or something. Yeah, I think twenty ten, twenty twelve, mm. something like that. But it's, yeah. I like that the world felt lived in and the mm. characters in it were interesting. Like, 
the wife was a Russian, no, not a Russian, like she was like a Czechoslovakian or something. Like that. It was yeah, it changed her name and she was a stripper. And yeah, and he had to keep her because he'd gotten her pregnant. And yeah, like you know what I mean. Yeah. Was like, and she stayed as a dominatrix. She was doing that shit on the side, and he didn't even know about it. So yeah, yeah it felt very lived in the world. So who's the actual author? A guy called Tom Straw. And he's got a, uh, um, a couple of books that he's written for himself. He's actually a, um, a writer for TV. He writes TV oh, series and stuff. Oh, like okay. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Did he like write on Castle? Or? I think he wrote like a few episodes yeah. or something like that. But then they got him to do that, and like these became like number one hits or something on like, right, New York Times or something. Like that. I don't know. Is there something on there? But yeah, they they got where well, they got way up there for a little while. I like that because um, I've never seen Castle. It is enjoyable on its own. Like you don't have to watch the show. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, kind of weird that like the character from Castle brought out a book as well. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, and like you go on Goodreads and it's like fucking uh, Nathan Fillion is the author. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was, what were the what were the Goodreads? Things I don't even, never even looked at them. Oh, uh, in terms of the rating, yeah, uh, it's still good. I think it's like average 3.8 or something like that, maybe. That's not bad at all. Good, like anything around four is, is good, really yeah. good, but um, yeah, just enjoyable. It's like, yeah, if you're in the middle of the road, like could be better, could be, yeah, there's some cool murders later on and stuff. So yeah. If yep. you want to feel like doing it, do it, and if you don't, yeah, um, I mean, I don't. Probably not anytime soon, but like definitely think it will. Yeah. Um How cool. far are you through Sahara? Sahara. Um you can see how far I am. <laughs> dude, you're way further than I am. Okay. <laughs> I've barely touched it the last week. Most of that was uh You're like th- three quarters of the way through. Nah. I'm like quarter of the way through. Maybe a third. No. Wait, is that the... F- oh, okay. <laughs> I was looking yeah, at it. Yeah. No, um, I think I'm like... I'm up to the part where there's like a woman flying a plane. I think it's oh, like okay, Ch- this. Chapter 2 or something. <laughs> oh, let's review that now. Yeah, Chapter 2. It oh, was, seems good. <laughs> no, um, it's only because I've s- just been busy. I got it at work, so... And, uh, just keep pe- people keep talking to me and I keep talking to people at work so yeah. I'm going to have to take that one home I think just actually just start reading it yep so it'll be um, okay. probably next time, next time yeah, yeah. Um, what was I going to say oh yeah so like a week ago I started Legend I read like two chapters that's why I knew about some shit right at the beginning oh right <laughs> um, and then I was like I can do both and then I'm like five days later I haven't read anything of either of them like I'll just read read the summary of Legend yeah I think sometimes it's a bit, just a bit too much eh yeah like too yeah, much for your brain I really needed this break what's interesting is when I've like sat down to I've been like yep I'm gonna do my usual 50 pages a day which is what I was like really going for like most of this year it's like fuck this is hard now like it's like I've kind of like gotten rusty and like yeah if I force myself to read about 10 pages then it's like breaking the rust off I'm like oh yeah no I can do this yeah it's really really weird sometimes I feel like um, if I've left a book for a little while and I pick it back up uh, it's like got renewed energy like it's yeah. like oh well I really want to know what's next and then I can yeah. and then uh, boom, 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 we start reading it like a lot more smoothly again yeah but if you do if you do feel like there's like you can't get into it I think you just sort of either need to find any, another book or jump the hump yeah. and do it because like for example not going into detail but I'm en- enjoying this like 50 million more times than I am than I did Jack Cloudy <laughs> <laughs> 50 million times <laughs> but I'm just like struggling to get around to reading it yeah like, I, I read Jack Cloudy in like two weeks or some shit yeah, yeah I don't know just 
Uh, I think there's probably twice as many pages in it. Though. It looks like oh, quite it's much longer. It's like six hundred pages. Or something. Shit, yeah. Uh, is actually like larger text. Though, but... Oh, that's good. Mm. But I think the text matters sometimes as well. Because when I was reading, um, shit, oh, Jack Cloudy, I was like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think yeah. that's why the spine got so fucked on mine. I was like, you know what? I'm done with these like you know these pages. I'm <laughs> do it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so there's a, that's another one. So so I guess Sahara was technically this month's book, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so we read everything except that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I I looked at episode two of the podcast. I said we're going to do Starman next, and we haven't done oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah, I read a few chapters of that. Um, but then you, like, had the baby, and I was like, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll do it next time, I guess. Fuck, man. I saw, um... Should we end this one? Oh, we can... I'll just keep it running for a bit. Oh, okay. um, uh... I was looking for fucking volume three of Starman. It's yeah. like fucking five hundred dollars. That's impossible to find. Oh eh? my god! I saw like a complete collection for like a grand. I was like, oh, fuck, can't do that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a good book though. They're really mm. good. Hopefully they just like reprint them. Though. They started reprinting them there a, a few years ago, and that's how I got the last one. I got right. the last omnibus. Right. And then they stopped halfway through because the new 52 came out and no one wanted it. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's right. I finally, um, they haven't all arrived yet, but I've got all of the, not the new 52 Jonah Hex, but the, the series before that. Oh, okay, cool. Got the series before with. that was probably, it was supposed to be really good. Yeah. There's one, I uh, don't want to like fucking spoil it for you or whatever, but there's one... I don't know if it'll be in being that one, but there's one where he goes to the future and he gets, um, he helps out Batman and shit. For I think him. that's all Star Wars the New 52. Pretty and cool. he gets his face fixed. Don't know. Gets like surgery it. on his face and then he goes back and he's got like a girlfriend and shit. Mm. Have you, also there's a weird one where he's got a girlfriend she's got scars all, all over the rest of her body. I do somewhat recall that. And she was like raped or something. Right. Um... I've read like bits and pieces of the old one, like back in the day, and it seemed somewhat like realistic, like it almost wasn't in DC. Yeah. Um, and that's what you like about it, eh? Yes, yeah, it's just like a. Have you ever uh, heard of a guy uh, of a comic book called Bluebell? Oh, Blueberry, sorry, Blueberry. No. It's um, set in the Americas, written by French people, mm. and it's a French comic. Okay. But if you get an English version of it, it's fucking amazing. Really cool. Alright. Yeah. Look Blueberries. It yeah, Blueberry. Yeah. Um, it's done by... I think it was... A, some of it was... Or at least one issue was done by the same guy who did... Um, you know that Valerian movie? With all the weird visuals and stuff in it? Yes. Like that guy, that guy who did that, the weird visuals, is an amazing artist. And he also was going to take part in the filming of Dune. Okay. And there's... A, book like this thick of all just his drawings and all his like illustrations and imaginings for the world of Dune wow and it's like like a fucking holy grail for artists you now like people just pick shit out of it and half of Star Wars is made off of it wow yeah it's crazy yeah I kind of want to read Dune yeah I've got Dune on uh, audio if you want to do oh, it okay. I've got the book but I don't know where it is now <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah, we could do Dune. Game yeah. of Thrones space with worms. <laughs> um, so, do you say, so, is it my turn next month? Yeah, it's your turn, yeah. Okay. I'm mm. to think about that. And I suppose we could do another two books after we finish Shohara. Mm. Yeah. I have to think. Yeah. Um, good? Yep. Yeah.